Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now in this one we're going to be using TWRP to flash stock firmware. Now normally how I would do this is by flashing raw firmware but raw can sometimes be a little bit hard to find. So I'll show you guys how to use the firmware provided on ASUS website. So many of the custom ROMs actually need you to flash the stock former first before flashing them. So this will be a handy video to point to when I'm installing custom ROM, for example. And also if you just want to go, like if you want to just upgrade, you can use this video as well. So in this case, I'll be flashing this version of Android 10. So I'll leave a download link to this in the description. Basically, you have a bunch of different firmwares here. But just click download here. It's about 2.3 gigabytes, so it'll take a while. Well, that's downloading. We also need to grab ourselves TWRP. So head over to this link here. It'll be in the description also. Uh, scroll down to the downloads and you will have three different options here. If you're on Android 9, you will need to download the Pi version. If you're on Android 10, download the Q version. And if you want to install TWRP permanently, uh, download the installer as well. And you'll also need to download the platform tools. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. Download this one for Windows. Uh, this is basically ADB and Fastboot. We are going to be using Fastboot to boot into TWRP. So that's why we need this. All right, so before flashing, we need to remove basically any security. So go into your settings, uh, go into security and make sure the screen lock is none. And also go into accounts and remove any accounts you have. So you should have no accounts. And then what you want to do is just turn off your phone. So power off. All right, when the phone is turned off, what you want to do is hold down the power button and the volume up key at the same time, and this will get you into fast boot mode. So you see here, we are in fast boot mode. You can use the volume keys to select different menus. Just leave it on the start. And then get a USB-C cable, plug it into the side port of the phone, and connect the other bit to your computer. So first thing we're going to do is boot into TWRP. So wherever we have downloaded flaf our fat platform tools, <laughs> copy over your TWRP files that we did. Now I'm on Android 10. So I'll be using the TWRP queue. So just copy it here. So your TWP uh, file should be in the same place as your fastboot exe. Then what you want to do is hold shift on your keyboard, press right click, and then open PowerShell here or open CMD. I'm going to use PowerShell since it looks a bit nicer. <laughs> That's really the only reason. And so then what you can do is type in fastboot and devices. Now, if your phone comes up here, so there's like a bunch of random numbers, then fastboot, that's good. If nothing comes up here, then uh, just make sure you plugged in the cable uh, the right way or in the side port and all that kind of good stuff. Then what we're gonna do is Fast boot, boot, and then we're going to boot into the TWRP. So you can just press tab to auto complete. And that way you won't make any spelling mistakes, basically. And then just press enter. 
And so, just leave your phone as is, it will boot into TWRP eventually. And there we go. Once you're inside, um, at the start of booting, it might ask you to, basically there might be a yoke to swipe, just swipe that if that comes up for you. And now what you want to do is click on wipe. And then we want to click on format data. And then what you want to do is type in yes. And then press back, back, and then swipe to factory reset. All right, go back, back. Now we don't have anything on our phone because we just formatted the data. So what you want to do is go back to your PC. All right, so where you download that folder, uh, copy it over to where you have your platform tools and paste it here. And then go back to your PowerShell window and type in ADB push and then we are going to push the UL ASUS so just type in UL and then press tab ASUS and we're going to push it to SD card so forward slash SD card press enter and it's going to copy over the zip All right, and then if we go back onto the phone, we'll see the file has appeared here. So what you wanna do is press on it and then confirm to flash. All right, so once that's done, that took a while, that took like um, a good bit. So anyway, what you want to do then is reboot to a uh, bootloader because we will need to flash this twice. So go back to TWRP or to your PC, I mean. <laughs> and what you want to do is just use the up arrow on your keyboard and then boot into TWRP again. And then we will flash the same ROM again. This is because this phone uses a B partition scheme. So that's why we need to do it twice. All right, so this allow sys swipe to allow system modification, press that. And then what you want to do is install. All right, we will have to push the file over again, which is fine. So just go over to your PC and um, tap that same command to push the file. All right, once that's pushed, on your phone, you should see the file just appeared right there. So click on it and then swipe to flash. And this will take ages as well. <laughs> All right, so normally it will look like TWRP is stuck on this step when it's kind of completed step one or two. It just stays there for some reason, but just leave the phone running for like a good bit. All right, so right now you should be on fully stock ROM. So if you wanna just use the stock ROM, you can reboot the system. Just gonna wipe the cache here and you'll be booted into stock ROM. But if you are about to flash a custom ROM, just go back and um, basically push a new 
custom ROM here and flash it. So I'm actually gonna reboot system to see if this actually worked. <laughs> and we should end up on stock ROM. All right, so yeah, there we go. We're back on stock ROM. You can continue with your setup or whatever. So that worked nicely. I'm actually just gonna shut down the phone again. Cause I will be installing a custom ROM next. So I'll just boot back into TWRP. All right. So yeah, that's uh, it. Thanks for watching and bye bye.